What's going on guys? So I just wanted to make a quick video on how to get a nice progress bar so that you can see the um, uh, the epoch and then you can see sort of the progress of the current batch and then some other information like the accuracy and then the loss. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I have some pretty basic uh, starting code right here. Uh, we're doing some basic imports. Uh, we're creating a simple convolutional neural network. And then we are uh, defining some hyperparameters. We're loading the MNIST data set. And then uh, we're just uh, initializing the loss function, the atom optimizer, and then the uh, a very simple training loop. So if you're unsure about this, I have another video where I explain how to get to this point, and then you can uh, follow along in this video so what we're going to do uh, first of all is we're going to import from tqdm import tqdm so this is going to be used for our progress bar and uh, this is a pip install tqdm and then we're going to go down to the um the training loop and all we're going to do is where we have the train loader right here um you know so we define the data loader that's our actually that's the training loader right here and then we do for data comma targets in the training loader all we're going to do is we're going to do tqdm of that thing right there and uh, then we're just going to run that and now you're going to get something like this so we get a basic training uh, loop but it's uh, first of all it's starting a new one right which is kind of annoying we want it on the same one and um, also, one thing here, these times is uh, this is the elapsed time, so the time it took, um, or if it's in progress, then the time it has taken so far. And this right here is the expected time uh, that is remaining. So, here, for example, it has run for two seconds when we stopped it, and it's expecting two seconds uh, to be left. Uh, and that sort of makes sense because we stopped it at 50% or almost 50%. Uh, but, anyways, so how you would change this is you would do uh, here, you would do leave equals false. And then we would run that again. Now it's just going to be on a single line. So when it's finished, it's just going to start over again like that. And the, another thing is that let's say you wanted to do, I don't know, it's uh, quite normal to have something like this where you would have enumerate of the training loader. And then, let's see, yeah, like that. So that you also have the batch index. So you would have, here you would have batch index and then comma uh, data and targets. What you would do then is uh, you would do TQDM and then you would do total equals length of train loader. And then you would do uh, leave equals false so this would work um, so that you now have the batch index so all we added is this uh, total right here um, and um, all right so I mean this is a sort of uh, the basic this seems to work so what we want to add now is uh, we want to add so that we have information about the epoch and also so that we have information about the uh, the current loss of the batch and uh, how we do that is uh, we're going to Create, um, we're going to do loop right here and here is where we're going to define this uh, tqdm right here so I guess we could uh, delete that and then just copy paste it and then put it on this line right so we're just going to initialize the tqdm on, a, on a, another line uh, and we're just going to call it loop and then you're going to do for batch index uh, and data targets in loop instead and then we're going to go to the bottom of this and we're gonna do update uh, progress bar and we're gonna do loop dot set description and we're gonna do an f string and we're gonna do epoch and then we're gonna do epoch and then uh, we're gonna do sort of a slash so epoch out of uh, num epochs so that's the total number of epochs and then we would just do let's see uh, so yeah, that's that's it for that one. Uh, then we would do loop dot set post fix. We would do loss equals loss dot item. And then uh, if you wanted 
and uh, we're not calculating an accuracy now but uh, some something like Keras is doing is uh, calculating a running accuracy so you could do that uh, and how you would send that in is uh, by doing accuracy equals torch dot or ac just doing accuracy equals let's just do a random value right now so rand one dot item uh, so this is not going to be accurate of course but you know you could just uh, calculate the accuracy here uh, and then you could send that in uh, as an argument to this set post fix but anyways if we run this now we're going to get something that looks like we did, we had in the beginning where we have the epoch uh, and then we have the sort of the progress of the current epoch and then the we have some accuracy this is just random values right now and then the loss of the uh, current batch hopefully you find this video useful uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one